Okay, so this is your Bentley ignition switch. Uh, not anything like a conventional ignition switch. We have a couple of those around here, but uh, this is very, very modern, modern in many regards. Uh, the unit itself ha is, is comprised of the lock cylinder assembly here, a drive coupler, and the rotary encoder. I'm gonna put that back on for momentary. Now, we, the concern with this was is that the key jams or won't come out or sometimes feels rough. That is true. I've repaired two of these in the past and the problem is in the rotary encoder. I'll demonstrate. You take your key here, put it into the mechanism. I've, I've marked one of the pins of the fork here black to show you this operates smooth as glass. Even though there are several cam-driven solenoids around the outside of it for a variety of different purposes. This feels like a Swiss watch. Can you kill that? Okay. Uh, and uh, the, the beauty of the lock cylinder is, is that it, the key only removes when it is in the vertical position, just like that. It won't pull out anywhere else until it's in the off position. But sometimes, due to the fact that this rotary encoder is jammed, it won't allow it to come all of the way back. You can see the fork here engages with the slot on this spring-loaded device. I'm turning the spring-loaded device by hand. Notice that it should be smooth to operate in all detents, and it's not. Again, I've done these before. I know that the ball t detent mechanism located in this uh, die cast housing right here is defective. What happens is, is there is a series of, uh, of lumps around the inside of this and a little spring loaded ball mechanism goes on the inside and locates itself absolutely correctly in one of the three different positions. In order to get this thing apart and fix it, well, it was never intended to come apart. It has one, two, three, four little uh, uh, through hollow rivets in it. We have to drill these off. We replace them with some micro screws and nuts. Also, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen uh, 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 little. Uh, actually, it looks like the fingers on the tips of your fingers on a palm of a hand, sandwiched on either side of this rotating plate. And that's what makes the selection for the various different electrical functions in it. What we have to do is take this off, take it out, take it apart while leaving it, leaving the blue portion of it on the back here, get the uh, uh, die cast assembly uh, disassembled. And I already sent you photographs of what this looks like on the inside. We have to physically put a pin through the splines that attach this to the square drive in the back. You have photographs of that, you know what we're up to. By the way, I looked all over the world for this particular switch. It says IT&T on it, thinking it was American made. Now they say made in China on the back. Also, not available. I don't speak Chinese. So we're gonna go ahead and repair this item. Uh, I couldn't find that thing anywhere, anywhere in the world new and they'll all fail in the same way. When we repair it, it will be stronger than the original. Uh, go ahead and, and read up. Uh, the information that I already sent you, sign the, the uh, disclaimer. I will also uh, send you an invoice tonight with an estimate on it, and we'll get this thing fixed. So I think that's everything.